Perth Motorplex is this morning being investigated after a man was badly burnt following one of their shows. A 58-year-old received burns to his face, chest and back when a car caught on fire at the weekend. He's now in a stable condition, recovering in Fiona Stanley Hospital. A new report has revealed our nation's prisoners are better fed than our elderly, with some nursing homes spending just $6 a day on meals. For more, I'm joined by the National President of the Australian Medical Association, Dr Michael Gannon. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Louise. Tell me, what is your reaction to this this morning? Well, my re reaction was one of shock uh, initially, um, and yet, sadly, it fits in with the picture of not paying enough attention to the care of our elderly. Uh, aged care facilities are, are a problem. Uh, the accreditation uh, systems are, are not protecting all of the residents. It's hard to know what sort of nutritional value you can get from a $2 meal as well, isn't it? Well, they must be falling short somewhere in terms of appropriate ingredient, ingredients or fresh ingredients. Yeah. Uh, it's entirely appropriate that uh, people in residential aged care facilities get healthy and nourishing meals. Um, so many of them have still got so much to contribute. Uh, it's the least we owe people in their autumn years. Absolutely. And, and they say this study that they looked at 800 aged care providers, which is a lot, but should families be worried about the level of the care that their loved ones are getting despite the fact that they're being reassured everything's fine? Well, I think there's a responsibility to beef up the accreditation of these facilities. Uh, I know from personally speaking to the Minister for Aged Care, Ken Wyatt, uh, he found the Oakford uh, report in, uh, in Adelaide uh, very distressing. Um, we've got a long way to go uh, before we can say that we as a society do the right thing in looking after our, our aged. Where do you start with something like this to make sure there are safeguards? Well, there are rules in terms of uh, minimum standards of accommodation, uh, minimum standards of uh, access to health care. Uh, we need to look at the minimum standards of, uh, of nutrition. Uh, uh, I suspect that what we'll see in, in coming years is the bar lifted higher in terms of nurse-resident ratios, etc. Uh, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely agree. Dr Gannon, thank you so much for your time this morning. OK, pleasure, Louise. The Prime Minister is facing growing pressure to convince his deputy, Barnaby Joyce, to resign. Nationals MPs will hold a meeting today to discuss the future of Mr Joyce following his Love Life scandal as they're worried.